a little bit of reading and listening. Is that okay? Good. Good, good. Okay. Now, first, answer these questions. There are six questions from A to B. Good.
Hey Marcos, how are you? Hi, can you listen to me? Yep or no? Okay, well. Hey, Aldaris, how are you?
Fine, ready for the class. Oh, I have something to tell you. Today, we are going to have a special homework. You are going to have the practice test. At the end of the class, Mr. Mario is going to send you the link in order for you to answer the, the exam, okay? For everybody. Oh, question, sorry, Marcos. Sorry, sorry. I was uploading some exercises. But yeah, I remember the home, today's homework is a, is a test. We need to answer it and in order to have the feedback before the final exam. Yeah, uh, teacher Mario will send you the link through WhatsApp. Yeah, at the end of the class. Okay, all right, all right, we are answering questions A to F.
You are not able to see from this path. Um, what about now that is? You? Ah, okay. So, D is not a good question? Can I work from home? It's a good question. Actually, I asked that question and I am working from home. <laughs> well, no, I'm just kidding. You are right. Most of works, you need to go to the workplace in order to develop your, or to perform your job. And definitely, how much vacation will I get? It's not a good question to ask. So. Let's go through exercise. Read for main ideas. Read the article. Where are the questions in exercise A? Read the article. Write down the questions. Let's go piece by piece. Remember, you need to write down the blanks, the number of the question. Well, the question. Congratulations. After submitting, after submitting dozens of applications, you finally landed an interview. You've done your research on the company, printed out extra copies of your resume, and even rehearsed answer to questions like, what is your great, greatest weakness? But have you prepared for the most difficult interview question of all? Do you have any question for us? A candidate can afford the trip on this question, says Erika Lee, a career advisor in Los Angeles. Employers need evidence that you are interested in the position. To avoid this fate, follow this advice and the future boss by asking questions like this. And then in the line, we need to write down the question A, B, C, D, E, or F. Depends on the context of the own paragraph. Listen carefully to the answer, advise Lee. Then show how you can help them achieve their goals. Try to solve yourself as a solution to a manager's problem. Managers spend most of the time worrying, says Lee. Early and who takes that stress away is like open. So what is the question we need to write down here? How does the position fit into the company structure? Uh, what opportunities are there for the training? What projects are you currently working on? Can I work from home? 
how is performance review or how much vacation will I get? So what him? The correct answer for this exercise. You can't listen. Oh, all right. Don't worry, that is it's a um, connection problem. Don't worry.
Good. Okay, two, three, and four. And then when you finish reading, tell me and I can move the, the screen.
Let's see, Marcos, one, no, A, two, B, three,
Okay, let's check answers. For number one, is letter C. What projects are you currently working on? For number two, is letter A. How does the position fit into the company's structure? For number three is letter B. What opportunities are there to get training? Number four, how is performance review? And number five, how much how much vacation will I get? And number six, can I work from home? Could you listen? <laughs> okay, so correct your answers. What projects are you currently working on is number one. Number two, how does the position fit into the company's structure? Number three, what opportunities are there to get training? Number four, how is performance review? Number five, how much vacation will I get? And number six, can I work from home? Those are the questions we had to answer. Okay. I see, paraphrase. Read the sentences below, then underline the sentences in the article. Paraphrase. Don't underline the sentences, just write the sentences. I want you to make sure of this exercise. Exercise C. Make sure of the sentences. Okay, so you're ready to take pictures? Good. So, let's go back to the reading and find sentences that paraphrase the ones we already have. So let's go back to the reading. The first part, find sentences that can para, uh, paraphrase the ones you already had.
इलेक्ट्रिकल Okay, one, correct. Number one, correct. Carla. Correct.
<laughs> that face. Well, okay, here we go with the answers. Um, number one. But have you prepared for the most difficult interview question of all? Do you have any question for us? That's number one. Number two, a candidate can afford to trip up on this question, says Erica Lee, a career advisor in Los Angeles. So paragraph two. Number three, managers spend most of, the, uh, most of their time worrying, says Lee. Clearly, an employee who takes the stress away is like gold to them. Number four, this shows your desire to acquire skills and, and knowledge that will benefit the company. So paragraph number five. Number five, this question demonstrates that you appreciate the importance of being accountable, meeting deadlines and target. It also shows that you understand the value of constructive criticisms and guidance. For paragraph six. And the last one, if you ask this, employers will worry that you are not fully committed to the job. On paragraph six, if we have answers. Okay, so Page 89, Page 89. Three. three, listening and strategies, listening and strategies. A, food a food revolution, B, listen to So let's time for a listening exercise, okay? Exercise C. Stop the questions on exercise C. You're not here. Stop the questions or take a picture. Okay, ready? Good. So answer the questions 
listening, all right? Answer the questions according to the listening. Listen to two radio show hosts talk about Jamie Oliver. Number the photos in exercise A in the correct order, one through five. So, our listeners have been calling in about Jamie Oliver. You know Jamie Oliver, right? Who doesn't know Jamie Oliver? He's the guy from England, the chef. Right. He started out as a chef in a restaurant in the UK and then did a number of his own TV shows. He has a great personality, funny guy, very talented. And then he started these very successful restaurants and helped all these unemployed young people with little or no education to start careers as chefs. He opened several more restaurants in other countries, too. He did? Where? Oh, Holland and Australia, for instance. And then he started a new TV series here in the U.S. He wanted to change how Americans think about their food. You know, he just thought something needs to be done. He's totally against things like processed food, and he just wants everyone to eat fresh food and cook good, simple, healthy meals. And that's basically what the food revolution is all about. It was started by him here in the U.S., and he started a petition too, right? Right. He wants one million people to sign it, to campaign against school lunches, you know, to stop them from serving junk food. I mean, who wouldn't sign that petition? It's amazing, really. So he did a show in this one school, and he helped them to start cooking real food again. But the amazing thing was, at first, the school chefs were pretty upset. Oh, yeah. They're like, who is this guy coming into our school and telling us how to cook? Yeah, but, you know, by the end, they really liked the whole thing. I mean, everyone wants their kids to eat healthy, right? You know what's amazing to me? That one person can have such a huge impact like this. It's incredible, huh? Inspiring. Apparently, the menus in hundreds of schools have been changed, you know, because of his work. And he's enabled so many people to lose weight and eat healthier food. Amazing guy who has written several top-selling books, too. Very popular books. Hundreds of people show up for the book signings. Okay, that's it. Uh, could you listen to it? Listen to two radio show hosts talk about. Okay. Here we go again. Ready for the listening again. Three. Listening and strategies. A food revolution. B. Listen to two radio show hosts talk about the Oliver. Number the photos in exercise A in the correct order, one through five. So, our listeners have been calling in about Jamie Oliver. You know Jamie Oliver, right? Who doesn't know Jamie Oliver? He's the guy from England, the chef. Right. He started out as a chef in a restaurant in the UK, and then did a number of his own TV shows. He has a great personality, funny guy, very talented. And then he started these very successful restaurants and helped all these unemployed young people with little or no education to start careers as chefs. He opened several more restaurants in other countries, too. He did? Where? Oh, Holland and Australia, for instance. 
And then he started a new TV series here in the U.S. He wanted to change how Americans think about their food. You know, he just thought something needs to be done. He's totally against things like processed food, and he just wants everyone to eat fresh food and cook good, simple, healthy meals. And that's basically what the food revolution is all about. It was started by him here in the U.S. And he started a petition too, right? Right. He wants one million people to sign it to campaign against school lunches. You know, to stop them from serving junk food. I mean, who wouldn't sign that petition? It's amazing, really. So he did a show in this one school, and he helped them to start cooking real food again. But the amazing thing was, at first, the school chefs were pretty upset. Oh yeah, they're like. Who is this guy coming into our school and telling us how to cook? Yeah, but you know, by the end, they really liked the whole thing. I mean, everyone wants their kids to eat healthy, right? You know what's amazing to me? That one person can have such a huge impact like this. It's incredible, huh? Inspiring. Apparently, the menus in hundreds of schools have been changed. You know, because of his work. And he's enabled so many people to lose weight and eat healthier food. Amazing guy who has written several top-selling books too. Very popular books. Hundreds of people show up for the book signings. That's it. Okay. And what about you, Aldaris? Ilse? Well, Aldaris is okay, but Ilse and Carla? You couldn't listen very well. How come? Marcos, did you copy the <clears throat> did you copy the questions? Let's do this, people. I'm going to let Marcos copy the questions again. And we are going to listen the we're going to listen to the recording one last time. Okay, copy. Four questions. Two minutes for copying the two questions. And then I'm going to play the listening one more time. Okay, don't worry. I know, internet is faulty. I I restarted my modem and everything. And it's it's okay because I've been watching some Netflix TV show. And it's steady, my connection is steady, but you cannot trust on internet connections anymore. Well, right now it's time for Marcos to copy the four questions from exercise C.
Ready, Marcos? You can see the questions. Okay. Can you see the questions? Good. So, time for the listening. One last time. Page 89. Free. Listening and... Strategies. A food revolution. B. Listen to two radio show hosts. Talk about Jamie Oliver. Number the photos in exercise A in the correct order, one through five. So, our listeners have been calling in about Jamie Oliver. You know Jamie Oliver, right? Who doesn't know Jamie Oliver? He's the guy from England, the chef. Right. He started out as a chef in a restaurant in the UK, and then did a number of his own TV shows. He has a great personality, funny guy, very talented. And then he started these very successful restaurants and helped all these unemployed young people with little or no education to start careers as chefs. He opened several more restaurants in other countries, too. He did? Where? Oh, Holland and Australia, for instance. And then he started a new TV series here in the U.S. He wanted to change how Americans think about their food. You know, he just thought something needs to be done. He's totally against things like processed food, and he just wants everyone to eat fresh food and cook good, simple, healthy meals. And that's basically what the food revolution is all about. It was started by him here in the U.S., and he started a petition too, right? Right. He wants one million people to sign it, to campaign against school lunches. You know, to stop them from serving junk food. I mean, who wouldn't sign that petition? It's amazing, really. So, he did a show in this one school, and he helped them to start cooking real food again. But the amazing thing was, at first, the school chefs were pretty upset. Oh, yeah. They're like, who is this guy coming into our school and telling us how to cook? Yeah, but, you know, by the end, they really liked the whole thing. I mean, everyone wants their kids to eat healthy, right? You know what's amazing to me? That one person can have such a huge impact like this. It's incredible, huh? Inspiring. Apparently, the menus in hundreds of schools have been changed, you know, because of his work. And he's enabled so many people to lose weight and eat healthier food. Amazing guy who has written several top-selling books, too. Very popular books. Hundreds of people show up for the book signings. All right, that's it. I want to see your answers.
Okay, that is number one, it's correct. Go. Okay, I'm going to check for uh, Marcos, Quince, and Carla. Let's check. That is answer number one, is correct. Okay. Okay, well, that is not a lot. The answers are very good, long and complete. Here we go with the short version of them. Number Number two. Number three.
Here we go. Four answers. Yeah, that is, you wrote a lot. Way, way a lot. Well, your answers had the idea, had the main idea. That's important. Actually had the, the complete answer plus a lot of extra information. Now. Okay. So remember, today... <laughs> Today we have a, an exam. Teacher Mario is going to send us the link through, through WhatsApp, right? It's pretty important to answer that quiz. So we are going to know what's going on with, um, with our scores and everything. And also what we need to review more. Is that okay? Not right, right now, but maybe tomorrow morning before the class. It's pretty important to answer it before the class. All right. Well. Okay, children. Time to go. I really need you to answer that quiz, please. I know nobody likes homework, but today it's a good time to answer uh, to answer it. We can answer it tonight, tomorrow morning, or before class. We need to have the answers before the class. So we can give you the feedback. The test, yeah. That's okay. That's okay, all that is. Let me get my phone, cause I, yeah, I saw my phone. Oh, don't worry, send it. You're welcome. See you tomorrow.